Hi guys, my name is Layla Sophia. I am an artist and fine jewelry designer. If you like contemporary fine jewelry, if you like luxury handbags, all things interiors, and I have some fun videos for you. You guys, okay. I know all of your favorite creators have probably done this and been doing this, especially a lot lately, and I thought, you know what? It has been a ridiculous amount of time since I've done a most worn video. Like it might even be a year, half a year, some ridiculous, absolutely absurd amount of time. And so I thought today I'd give you guys kind of my top definite most worn bags. And then also how does this inform with the bags that I'm hopefully looking to collect this next year? But first and foremost, if you guys are new here, thank you so, so much for tuning in. I can't wait to see you in all of my future videos. Make sure that you like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram at Layla Sophia Jewelry. I put out videos every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. And so I cannot wait to see you guys in the next one. Okay, so I honestly, I just realized, especially as I was physically taking my bags, because I already made the list, it was quite easy to determine which bags I've worn the most. Some of these will be very obvious. I think like two of them might be like kind of shockers. I don't even know, but especially as I was physically taking my bags over right here in my huge little pile that's next to me that you guys thankfully cannot see because it's very messy. I was realizing how different this list is to the bags that I carried the most exactly a year ago, thinking especially before my birthday, before I got a couple, you know, new bags for my 30th birthday, almost exact, almost exactly a year ago, almost, you know, two weeks until my 31st birthday, which I'm very excited for. And I think I, not to like ruminate on theories as to why I've like kind of, not completely, but um, definitely switched up what bags I wear the most. I thought what a fun idea to kind of tag on to this video of what I'll show you in a second, which bags I've like kind of just, honestly would be hard for me and are hard for me to put down and you know, want to spice it up and use other bags. I thought in this whole like little, you know, me collecting very analytical vibe that we're in right now of how can I be as true to myself as possible this next year, especially in 2025, even in the upcoming months. Cause you know, you know, my birthday and then Christmas happen in the next three months so you never know really what's on the table i honestly don't know what's in store for us and i thought what a good idea to kind of understand why there's been a shift in what i like to carry and then also how can i collect more things along those lines i don't even know but i guess starting off let's just go ahead and get into some of my absolute most worn bags, okay? All right, clearly we've had a complete we, as in me, has had a complete obsessive, you know, moment over the last three months, I counted, of me really, I just dove into the pond of bag charms. And so three of these bags are like glittered out, four of these bags are glittered out with bag charms, I just realized. Okay, listen, bear with me here. I'm already getting tired of the whole bag charm trend and I'm getting like, you know, I, I'm wondering if there's gonna be a little bit of a burnout of the bag charm trend coming soon, but that's a story for a different day. However, I just have to be really fully honest of what bags I have actually been wearing so much lately. It has been so difficult for me to put down my Louis Vuitton Speedy 25, okay? This is my original bag in my bag collection. And I say original because meaning this was the first bag I was ever given when I was 15 and a half for Christmas by my parents. Like, thank you, mom. <laughs> and dude, thank you, dad. I'm so grateful for you guys. This, I mean, yes, it was a ridiculous thing, you know? I completely understand and acknowledge that hopefully in every video, but it is, I am such a funny human being because I will go several years, two years without wearing this bag at all. And then I put some damn charms on it, wear it almost every single day. What is wrong with me? Like I am hot or cold. I'm usually not a hot and cold kind of girl, but when it comes to th this one bag in particular and also technical, well, mm, I might've just given it away, but let's just go ahead and say this one bag in particular, this one bag style in particular, I am hot or cold and I don't know what it is about the 25 and the Louis Vuitton Speedy style, but this is a darn good bag. It's like so hard to put this bag down when you're like, I have a strap for it that's actually on the table. I literally have a strap. I can just easily pop it on if I need it to go crossbody. It's slouchy. I have it full to the brim right now with all of the stuff that I never even really need, but I like to carry. For some reason in other bags, it makes like my Kelly, for example, it, all of the stuff that I have makes my bag so bulky. This, she's still slouchy, filled to the brim inside the bag charm situation, as you're going to see. 
like even though I'm already getting fatigue of it because I probably went like a little bit too hard you know I don't know I don't know what's wrong with me but I definitely again as I said I dove into the pond for sure myself it was my own choice however the good thing about the bag charm trend is that like literally I hadn't worn this bag for a maybe even more than two years I might even be being nice and <laughs> saying that it was two years it might have been longer adding bag charms in your own way you don't need to be as weird and quirky as me and adding on a bunch of pop mart and skull panda bag charms but it adds so much like distinctive character to your bag and that something about it makes me want to wear my bags more very particular bags because everything else in you know my little bag cabinet is very demure shall we say and very you know proper and nothing crazy nothing wild you don't even know what brand half of these like random bags are and then this gets you get you a girl who can do both okay while we're on the subject let's just go ahead and show this again <laughs> i will go quick because this is insane i realize but something about my kelly i do have to really admit something it's not as bad so i'm not like i'm not extreme with my kelly but i will have moments where i'm like not as much wearing her adding my little bag charm moments like makes me really always want to carry this bag and then the second I do carry her and this is a Kelly 32 just in case anybody is new here I collected her almost two years ago we'll have our two-year anniversary which I'm very grateful for <laughs> when I do use this bag I really truly say to myself I could just have a Kelly in my collection and I've said that before with my like holy grail list because yes one day I would love like a vintage beaten up like off weird tone green gray brown lizard kelly i know it's ridiculously specific and that's why it's a fantasy wish list but i could actually just have a kelly the only thing would i would want like a beater bag for my dog walks or something like that but i could easily just carry her she's so perfect and that oh, i think the sun just shone on her a little bit more come through girl have your moment literally the second I carry this bag I'm like do I need, even need to switch for anything I guess the only thing is if you don't I mean yes the bag charms bag charms aside so many more people now know what a Kelly is and know what a Birkin is and I you know I'm not an idiot and so I, <laughs> I always do want to be smart and mindful of what I'm doing whether that means rain or whether that means in a super crowded place and so those are the two only things that make it so that I'm like okay I'm not just gonna sell every single one of my bags and just have a Kelly but the it, it kind of is an interesting thing that as soon as I start to carry it I'm like I don't even need anything else is she the perfect bag is she the perfect bag this is a serious question for everybody okay this is such a oh this is such a battle because i have to show this bag but i also do have a not so positive update for us <laughs> oh you guys are gonna know my civet symmetry pochette okay for those of you guys who know or have seen i think a video that i did maybe actually two videos i've talked about this but yeah the clasp is now so wildly broken it just gets worse and worse and now i think i really just can't wear it unless I'm just gonna commit to wearing kind of clutching it like this I really have to not wear this bag but I wore this bag to the ground and just because I wore this bag like look at the condition she is absolutely gorgeous except for the clasp so I'm hoping that me wearing it you know however often did not contribute to the broken clasp but nonetheless the positive side is that I love the bejesus out of this bag I think this bag is so chic I know my dear friend Ricky you put it in the, like the lowest tiers <laughs> why do I even have this bag in my collection she's not for everybody totally understandable but it is it would be so difficult for me to find an outfit like yes this is a weird color combination but like I truly could not think of an outfit that this wouldn't go with it dresses things up a bit if I'm wearing something super basic like my friend Moon and I just went to I don't even know what we did we got tea and went walked around Central Park like I was wearing the most basic boring outfit and especially because I have really I'm a tall girl but I'm all torso you know this is a random thing for me to be sharing in this but if I wear flats I feel so dumbed down I feel so casual because my legs are need the extra help when I wear flats if I wear this bag I feel more dressed up like there's something about it that's like oh yes we did actually care about our outfit today a little tiny bit um the not so positive I guess I don't even know yet because I don't know yet but Essentially, everybody who's been asking, I have reached out and I have not heard back. 
from Savette. Yeah, okay, so we will be emailing again. <laughs> and I don't know why I haven't heard back yet. I'm like, I did disclose that I got this secondhand, but that should not deter someone or a company from being able to repair an item, especially in today's world when sustainability I think is so important. So I'm hoping that's not the reason and maybe they just have an influx of emails, hopefully in a more positive way, but yeah, I have not heard back. Uh, so that's my update for now. I don't have an update, but it's a little frustrating that I haven't heard back from them yet. I'm like, okay, interesting. They did just launch an entire new collection and I'm like, this was the bag that I've talked about so many times that I would buy another. I only want to buy another now if I know that I can either fix the clasp really easily or that the clasp will never break again because kind of, she's perfect. I'm not going to lie. Okay, these next two might shock you and then I'm going to end with the two that I'm kind of just throwing in here because I'm doing this video now and not at the end of 2024 because Come wintertime, child, like, I'm just get, I just wear bulky, you know. I wear really bulky jackets, and there are two bags that work perfectly that I will probably wear every single day. And so I know myself, so the summer is more of an opportunity to kind of, like, bounce around and change in and out bags. I don't know if this is going to be shocking, but my The Rome 90s bag in butter yellow, yes, Miss Brown bag only kind of girl... I am in love with this bag. You have no idea how hard it is for me to not wear it. Like it is so, I'm like, oh, why am I not just carrying this bag every single day? She is so cute. I think there's like not anywhere. I was really scared at the color and the leather. People have talked about how soft the leather was and I was like, Psh, I trust the row. Okay, listen, she's gonna look cute and worn in. I love this thing to pieces. Not going to lie, exactly what I just said about Savette. This I would feel so darn comfortable getting another. And I did warn us, just for anybody who remembers, I did say, because if you guys are new here, I don't like to duplicate, meaning I don't like to get two of the same bag styles, like especially, you know, same, like literal size, literal same bag. I, I've never done that before. I have gotten two different sizes of the row double circle bag and I'm selling one, lesson learned. This, however, like I'm not going to lie, this could be my exception of all exceptions. Yes, one day maybe I'll collect that Kelly that I was talking about. I don't know how I'll feel about a Birkin when I get one. I've never owned a Margot. Maybe I'll fall in love with those bags and only want those going forward, but the 90s bag is perfection. What are we learning here today, which we're going to get into in a second? She likes a mini bag. In the days of big bags are back and people just now are saying that big bags are back and I'm like, dude, that's been a thing for like the last two years. I over here am all of a sudden wearing all of my mini bags. What is wrong with me, you ask? Don't really know, but I love the, like literally this is like, I almost said that this is my favorite bag I've ever bought. This is like definitely top three. I always say that and then you guys are like, the top three is now a top 10. This is my top three favorite bags. Just, just give it to me. Just give the fantasy of, I love this bag so much. My two winter bags will come as no surprise to anybody. Hell, doesn't, don't these bags just look like self portraits? That sounds, maybe that sounds wildly pretentious because these I think are quite beautiful and I don't, maybe don't measure up, but that was horrible. I'm not, we're not like self deprecating on this channel, but I love these. They just embody me. And that's what I mean to say. I love these bags to pieces. Come winter, these will be my gals. Okay. Dog walks with a, I don't even know if I need a water bottle or something to throw in. She is perfect. She is perfect for a dog walk or for a dinner or for a popping around coffee. These will be my every single day, like hard for me to put down bags come winter. Have been, yeah, have been all 2020, the, the, the winter 2023 and then the rest of 2024. These are my go-to gals. And even though those were kind of, you can already hear her rattling around. <laughs> Those are my kind of bonus bags. I know I'm cheating a little bit. I have a confession to make, okay? I did do a vlog sale, which I'm so excited about. Nothing has sold yet, just FYI. So other than this one, everything is still available. Are we ready for this? I really appreciated doing the vlog sale and I hope nobody's gonna be disappointed by this. Or maybe you'll be happy because I have talked to one or two of you guys who I love so much. And I hope you know how grateful I am who are like, don't sell this as a collector's piece. Tell me why I said, let me just try one more time. Let me try one more time. And then after I said, let me try one more time, let me add bag charms to it without further ado. Why am I saying this? Not even showing the bag. Can anybody guess what my newfound favorite bag? Like, I'm shocked and I'm also so excited. I know this is gonna be ridiculous, 
My mini, I know, another bag. Ricky, I'm so sorry. <laughs> another bag that Ricky was like, why do you have this? What is the point of this? The vintage Louis Vuitton Speedy Mini HL. The wordy name, this bag, you have no idea, okay? Yes, I do have another Skull Panda and my little Layla Sophia Jewelry Luna Rose bag charm on here. You have no idea the amount of times that I went back and forth as to which charm to add on here. We might switch, we might dibble dabble, but when I tell you this is about, this is why this is the perfect transition, because I've been saying to myself, truly, I should be more realistic and say, my lifestyle has changed like drastically. I don't even know why I haven't said that in, in this video yet, but my lifestyle has changed drastically and especially in the in what I do and where I go and how I'm walking and whatnot. It's honestly just since moving, everything is so different and I'm very grateful for that, but on like the real, you know what I mean? Like if we're being really, really, really real, all I need, 99.9. .9. I know it's dramatic, but 99.9% .9 of the time for now in my life, is a phone, my headphones, my wallet, a lip balm, because she's a particular kind of girl, sunglasses, and dog bags, and my keys. Tell me why I still have space. That all that stuff is in here, and I still have space. My phone is next to me, but she fits in here like a dream. I have the iPhone Pro. I love a small phone. Bring back mini phones, okay? But I digress. I have been saying to myself, which we're gonna get into in a second, oh my gosh, should I get the Roe Bors phone case bag? I just need something to put literally my phone, my keys, my wallet, all the things I just named, I just need something. And then I said to myself, it's right here. It's in your it's in your cabinet, staring at you in the face, you're reorganizing all the time. You're touching it all the time. You're putting her in different positions all the time. Why are you not trying it again? I tried it again just a couple days ago. I said, done. I'm not telling her, took her off listings. I'm obsessed, it fits so much. And tell me why yesterday I just did all my jewelry district errands. I went to the park and I went to the grocery store today. I got it like at least four or five people were like, oh, what is this? Oh my gosh. She's obsessed to say the least. I can put a strap on her if I need, but honestly, like there's kind of nothing cuter than just boop, like toting this around. Yeah, apparently I could talk about her all day. We've had a rekindling, okay? I'm very excited that this is now like one of my new favorite bags, even though I've owned it for five years. And with that, I think it is really interesting. It's a really, this is a really, this is mainly just an exercise for me. This <laughs> is, as I guess a lot of my videos tend to be, but I hope that me helping me helps you help you. You know what I'm saying? This is a very good exercise that I want and I should do much more often because my life has changed so much. And again, I work from home, I work for myself. And so if I were ever to be going to, I mean, who knows? There could be a Layla Sophia jewelry office. I've had a store before, having a studio would be really cool. If that ever changes, then my, it will probably go the full opposite way and I'll only need gigantic bags to take my laptop and tools with <laughs> and stuff for my dog to hang out with me all day. I don't know, but for this very moment, apparently she's a mini bag girl. Uh, why I didn't put two and two together, I don't even know because last year I was wearing my Bottega shoulder pouch and my Bottega chain pouch every single day. My Chanel bag is always kind of a staple it girl for me and like I loved a medium size bag that I could kind of throw over my shoulder and whatnot and now I don't know if it's it's just there's I guess a bunch of different elements that went into it but I love just bringing the necessities because honestly when I do bring my Bottega and my Speedy I'm like why do I have so much stuff in my bag didn't touch it once didn't even open my bag once Thank God for Apple Pay, you know? So with that being said, am I missing something? There is, there are two kind of categories that I thought to myself, ooh, I wonder if I would go back here because essentially exhibit A of this entire video is me collecting mini bags probably would work quite well for the rest of my, not even for the rest of like the year, I don't know. It could be just the next three months. It could be the next two years. It could be forever. Even just to pop a mini bag in a bigger bag, maybe I realize that that works really well for me, but it kind of affirms getting another 90s bag. The Robe Wars phone case, I do still kind of really like. There's, there's like the cutest little like bloop pile of them at Burgers every time I go and I'm like, oh my God. Maybe I should just get one. They're so cute. Getting another 90s bag, the round 90s bag. I, I, I don't know. I still really like the original 90s bag, but I could 
try the round 90s bag. That all sounded really redundant, sorry about that. Allura Piana L19, you know, could be kind of perfect for the row half moon. I know it's a lot of the row, but it's me. So those all seem very, like very viable choices for going forward. And then I thought to myself, I could use another crossbody bag. And I looked, and you know me, I when I look, I really look. I really take a lot of time and do all of my research. Have you guys found any crossbody bags? Or do you guys like any crossbody bags currently? Because I have not found one singular one that I like. I'm just maybe, like, maybe my brain just completely shifted into a different vibe lately, but, like, genuinely, I'm, you know what I mean? Serious. I really don't like any crossbody bags out now. And I love the camera bag styles, but the strap is usually not long enough, and the thick, when the straps are too thick, it, like, you know, when you have a little bit larger of a chest, it's just not very comfortable and it really doesn't work out for me. And it's just my like weird particular thing. Even though I love like the Celine camera bags, I actually love the Laura Piana Gira bag. That's a really good one. And Hermes Constance, people have just been like, don't even bother. Don't even bother. It didn't work for me. It doesn't work for people over a certain body size, which is kind of exclusionary. And we don't even like to, you know, support that anyways. So I guess this category is, do you guys like any crossbody bags now? Have you bought any? Because I'm really struggling. I think if I got a crossbody bag that I really, really liked, like my, oh my gosh, Moon and I were just talking, the Givenchy Pandora mini Pandora bag that I wore literally, I've said this every single time I say this, but it fell off of my body multiple times before I finally said, all right, we need to retire her. I loved that bag, to, like literally to pieces, literally to pieces. I love that bag until she fell off and I loved her so much and I wore it to the actual ground. Should I rebuy one of those? And why haven't I been able to find a crossbody bag that's that, oh my God, it was such a good length that it was adjustable and the strap was really tiny and it held so much even though it was really tiny. Like higher designers not coming out with bags like that anymore. We were just talking about how much like, oh my God, the Ricardo Tichy era, RIP. We all miss it, I think. The only bag, and I know some of you guys, again, you guys who I love so much chatting to, like genuinely every time I just have to thank you, the Andiamo kind of seems like the best crossbody bag that's come out in a long time. Am I missing something? I feel like I have to be missing something. Please comment down below. What is your favorite crossbody bag? And should I try on an Andiamo? You know, I don't know. Or should I go back and rebuy a Givenchy Pandora Mini? Ooh, some good options. This is a very viewer involved video, apparently. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to give you guys any work today, but I can't wait to hear your thoughts. More importantly, I cannot wait to see you in my next one. Thank you guys. Bye guys.